Peter, you are our new seer and the beginning of a new era, but it is not going to last long because the clan of witches are waging war against you. They are waging war against anything that threatens their agenda of talking over human realm. This is not about Peter. It's not about anybody. It's about everybody. The witches are planning to wage a war to wipe away your future. And so, it is your responsibility to work together to support Peter, support yourself, and fight the witches so that you will still have your future. Your future is in your hands and it depends on how you can fight for it. But sir, we still do not understand. Who are you? I am Shogunle. I am a time traveler. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, let's review our best movie. Listen guys. I know they don't like me. I know you don't care. care. I know they don't want me. And, and we, we don't, don't care. care. <laughs> guys this is exactly what is going on in my country nigeria i don't even want to talk too much but if you know that people do not actually want you to rule them it's better you back off now moving on guys in this particular scenario where um shegunle abi shogunle actually um visited the school visited peter's school and um is trying to tell them to work together something like that guys i actually love um the settings here first of all let's talk about the settings how um everybody got shocked and the rest of them but guys do you actually think that um annie would succumb to whatever his father is saying we all know that it was even in this episode honestly that i realized that annie is um the 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 traveler's daughter I didn't actually know before but guys it is so unbelievable that any coined from the loins of this man because this this man is actually a very nice person judging from what he is telling the elders he's a very nice person per se i'm also very very sure that when the elders sees that he has gone before each and every one of them to actually um visit peter they would be so mad at him and they would want to as well plan for him do you guys really think that peter can actually handle all of this that is coming to him because peter is going to sit on that throne guys and i am very sure that annie might be jealous about it trust me because annie is um, a girl of power she loves power so much and realizing that realizing that um peter is actually going to sit on that throne as a seer i don't think she'll be so happy about it but is she going to go against her own father guys this is something we are all looking forward to to see annie's reaction on all of this to know what she is going to do about it if she's actually going to listen to her father or not and the fact that like all witches assembled together and guys did you actually notice something in this particular scenario when um ella actually joined them i didn't actually know that ella had that kind of power the only thing i know about ella is that she can see the dead which is non so she was actually seeing non so but the fact that she actually came to join them at the end I think that should say something it's either she has gotten a power or maybe her power is just to see the dead i don't understand because every other witch is they are also seeing the dead so i don't think her power is that strong for her to join their cartel but anyways let's just hope to 
see what's going to happen next and i commend the woman that told um the 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 time traveler that there is a seer you understand and agnes is so so um in fact agnes has big eyes in in nigerian english agnes has big eyes that means agnes is super super greedy like why would she want to sit on the throne when she's not the seer and guys look at this man's face this man's face was actually very very funny guys even when he's serious if you know the um the history of that man you would know that this man is actually a very funny man and the way he was just talking i felt like just laughing because the way he was talking was just very funny but anyways back to the movie scene the way he just hushed everybody and everyone assembled they are about to commence a greater mission i don't know if Annie would actually want to work with every other person that is just the question because we all know that agnes is um fighting peter and peter's friend and everybody that who is not actually um who is not bowing down to her and her powers and all those things so we cannot just wait to see what is going to happen in this in this scene so i definitely want to find out if if annie would want to work with joan because we know that joan is kind of the greatest enemy annie has in the school so i don't know if she's going to work with her or not and you will see that annie would now like kind of have the opportunity to talk to peter she would want to now exercise that her love her inner love she has for peter and obviously peter is going to resist and peter would want to work with joan so you understand the thing there so it's i don't know if they are going to actually work as a team because of the kind of um the kind of enmity between them they are not even in good terms and anyone if you're not in good terms like you cannot actually move mountains or would i say you will not really achieve a particular aim so we really hope that they do this teamwork well because this is now them versus the the council of elders those witches over there that is what it is uh, annie should not just bring that her uh, i want to rule i want to rule kind of mindset to this particular team that they are trying to gather because it's definitely not going to work for them and it's going to cause a lot of havoc now that um, ella has joined i believe that if annie wants to do anything it will now be a uh, um it will now be like joan peter ella together and i feel like chloe might want to join them as well so we all know that chloe chloe is a kind of person that yes she is um she's humble to her her leader which is annie but i don't think she actually likes everything annie does you understand so if annie wants to bring up any kind of um I want to rule i want to rule kind of attitude i feel like chloe might separate from annie and join peter joan and them um, and ella per se so let's keep our fingers crossed to see what is going to happen in this particular episode because i, I saw annie's reaction annie's reaction is i don't know what to say about that her reaction i'm not sure that she's very comfortable with what's going on with Peter being the seer, and I, I know very well that I The first day I came into the school, right from the gate, the entrance, that was where I met Ella. And the synergy was just so cool. Her love was just so strong. If anyone will tell me that one day will come and I'll leave the surface of this earth, without Ella, I'll say it's a lie. Guys, I so feel like Nonso should be given an award of best crybaby or best in fact i don't even know what to say guys i feel like nonsu is just crying in every episode like this love is really really hurting him but it's not actually ella's fault you know because nonsu is nowhere to be found as it is now like nonsu is dead you get and i love the fact that peter actually spoke some sense into him you understand because it's somehow disturbing um someone who is alive who still has um feelings and her hormones has ranging hormones now i'm referring to ella like for crying out loud ella shouldn't like and also it's kind of 
now so he's blocking a lot of things for ella i will not lie to you as peter said ella used to be this bright girl very very intelligent until non so she stayed dating non so in fact until non so died per se then everybody stayed away from ella Every, everyone thinks she's a psycho and all that so i feel like this their love is is really really hurting the two of them in fact so they should just go separate ways and nonso is not happy about this whole thing. guys drop, drop a comment on the section below if you were in ella's shoes what would you do would you still hold on to the love you had for your boyfriend let's say your ex-boyfriend because he's dead or what i don't get it but anyways thank god for peter being the mediator but guys it was so funny that peter was the mediator you saw what what happened what what went down between peter nonso and ella guy that that scenario was mad it was very very mad and i feel like nonso should just take heart nonso should take heart and leave everything and just go away in fact i'm, I'm just telling her, him to go away because he's causing more harm than good honestly he's really really causing more harm than good ella was so so excited when she learned that she was going to talk to nonso again look at the, the smile on her face was um in fact it was something else Th this reconciliation was mad though like <laughs> it was actually funny at the same time it was very emotional the excitement on ella's feet ella ella actually loves this guy so much but on the other hand i'm kind of asking does did ella actually um want okay let me put it this way did ella go back to non so because mikey abi mickey rejected her guys remember in the previous episode when ella was actually all in her feelings for mickey did though they didn't show where mickey came to her and was like i don't have feelings for you or something like that does it mean that the feelings ella had for mickey actually disappeared from nowhere or did ella actually regret the fact that she was no longer seeing nonso again that was why she came back to apologize to nonso so guys this is this is i don't know i don't even know what to say about it but this is something we should ponder over and they should give us an explanation on that as well a human that you have control over your I, feelings I, that's why i, I, I get all that i understand but i shouldn't i shouldn't have still given in i mean but you haven't told him what i said say I something hear you ella just just tell me sorry please. just help me tell I, I promise it won't be pity said just help me tell me just like saying the same yeah, thing just, I, just, Hey, hey, oh more in this particular scene, Ella, Ella be one run mad. Like El, El, Ella was going crazy. Guys, Ella is madly in love with this guy now. So in fact, the two of them they're just madly in love with each other. That's that's my explanation for this because Ella was going gagas. And I'm very sure that at that point, Peter was so tired. Peter, um, if if to say I did Peter's shoe, if I was in Peter's shoe, I would just leave them and jack by because who is this one now? This this person will be talking, the other person will be talking. Like, who do you want to convey his or her message to? And you know when Peter would keep quiet and listen to um listen to non so speak, it will now look like he's just keeping quiet why because ella can't hear no so so when peter is not keeping quiet it now looks like ella uh, peter doesn't want to listen to ella please guys drop a comment on the section below like i don't understand the explanation for non so appearing why why was um ella able to see non so at that point in time was it because peter actually got tired of the whole thing and then also decided to appear something like that but though in my own understanding you know i feel like Nonso was actually saying his last goodbye, something like that. So they now wanted to like do like a flash. Let um let, let them just flash Nonso to Ella. You understand? Like this is a goodbye, and this is actually a proof that Nonso was actually there. You understand? Anyways, I feel so much for Ella because she was so hurt, she was so disappointed. In fact, uh, Nonso ella 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 almost gave up because this was so so heartbreaking for her and for peter to just 
Peter should just explain to Ella that this is just the final goodbye that they just they bidded themselves farewell. Ella was so so heartbroken. And this this my guy they try you like Peter. Peter is really really trying. Peter not having any love of his life per se because the twin that he wanted to love, the kind thing did not work again now. So the person that Peter wanted to love, it didn't actually work out for them again. And Peter now witnessing this type of mad ass love one more. I don't know how he's going to feel about the whole thing. He'll just be like, oh, these people are just using me as a mediator or something. But I feel like she do he does not really care anyways. He'll be like, okay, this is what I came to do. This is my work. And I don't... And at this point, because we all know that the, the time traveler actually visited him before this particular thing. So I feel like by now, he didn't actually know what he is made of. I wonder how he is going to... He's going to... um come up with the whole thing and actually take responsibility for being a seer because this is this is powers comprises of a whole lot of things guys in in this particular scene where joan was almost raped guys my heart was just pounding and i feel like joan owes peter a whole lot she owes peter a whole lot because peter has just been saving her and I feel like their, their friendship is top notch. And that girl is actually very, very evil. I mean, the girl that possessed Sam. She's so, so evil. Like, why would you ever think of possessing someone to rape another person? And to think of it, I feel like the guy this girl is actually dying for is the cause of all these problems. Because if you can remember the previous episode when he, he came to... He came to her to adjust his tie or something like that. He told her that he wants to go after Joan. If you understand what I mean. So I feel like he's the cause of all these problems because he would have just told um told this girl now that is misbehaving that I don't love um Joan or Joan is just my friend. And the the kind boy Ahmed just messed up the whole thing by 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 telling this girl that he's going after Joan meanwhile there's nothing going on between them and i feel like this girl is just in fact this girl is just misbehaving she needs to be dealt with honestly she really 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 needs to be dealt with peter is such a kind kind-hearted person because i don't know how he just forgives people even after seeing all the things they have done especially this girl this girl needs to be reported to whomever it is in fact and i feel like now that they have um someone that they'll be reporting to that is um annie's father at least if uh, the seer which is peter cannot really handle any other thing or cannot really handle things he can just report whomever it is to the time traveler and this woman this woman agnes is very very evil she's hungry for powers and i feel like she should be dealt with and if only the witches in the school plus peter and ella and everybody would work together to work against them i feel like the whole thing would just be perfect because this agnes is so so hungry for power and annie's father is such a nice person he is really 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 a nice person because the way he's just standing up to this agnes and i i hope agnes does not do something bad to him honestly because you know agnes is a witch agnes has powers and the only power the only power this shogunle has is just to travel and see and come back like a time traveler you understand so i cannot wait for this fight to begin i just cannot wait for the fight to begin agnes and the elders and the council of elders versus the time traveler and the witches in the school so it's going to be a mad ass fight because every one of them have powers it's going to be like ah um, the, the editor of this movie try you i will not like you because how can you be editing this kind of magic this magic them and everything like it's super super cool it's very very cool agnes should just go and rest i beg i don't know why she's hungry for power and when they were even showing the scene where she stood to go and stay beside the throne and be something like that i i was even thinking that to will just strike her or something like that but it didn't actually work like that you know nigeria movies now the way the thunder will just strike her for actually challenging what the time traveler is saying 
but to my greatest surprise nothing like that happened agnes 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 your days are very much numbered both her and her cartel their days are numbered so guys drop your comment on the section below what you think about this particular episode how this episode made you feel do you actually think that agnes is going to um agnes is going to win this fight do you actually also think that annie would want to work with joan in particular because the way joan and peter will be interacting with each other i feel like annie might be jealous and now feel like okay peter has something to do with joan something like that so this is like um the end of our review drop your comments on the section below what you think would happen in the next episode especially with annie and especially with agnes in fact it should have been annie should have been agnes's um daughter because the two of them they they act alike they are hungry for powers you get that kind of thing so thank you guys for watching this particular review and please do all to like comment subscribe give this video a big thumbs up so the fight has actually begun i cannot wait for sabalo to drop another great episode bye guys and see you all in the next review